welcome to our review on chain reactions. If you think back to what we've already looked at when we looked at nuclear power, we said that as a uranium atom splits, it's going to release two or three neutrons. Now, this process can very easily lead to what's called a chain reaction. If you look at the diagram in the bottom left of the screen, you can see that we start off with one neutron impacting on that first uranium atom. That's going to split into two smaller atoms and release three neutrons. Those three neutrons are going to then join with three uranium atoms. They will split and they will release three neutrons each. So you can see that the greater the number of the fissions, the greater the amount of energy released, and this is going to increase very rapidly. We've obviously heard about nuclear reactors and nuclear weapons, and the key thing to remember here is that they both use chain reactions of uranium atoms. There is one key difference between them. In our nuclear reactors, we control the reaction. In our nuclear weapons, it's uncontrolled. So the key difference between the nuclear weapon and the nuclear reactor is that nuclear reactors are controlled chain reactions and nuclear weapons are uncontrolled chain reactions. The way that we actually control these fissions is by using something called a control rod. So what's going to happen is this is all going to be very carefully monitored and when the reaction is starting to happen a little bit too quickly for liking, then the control rods are going to be lowered in and they absorb excess neutrons. So that means that we can just keep that reaction going at a nice constant rate just by absorbing any excess neutrons by lowering the control rods into it when too many are present.